Welcome to the Toe Academy. My name is Don. Today we're going to be discussing winching recovery. Ah, it's going to be fun. Stick around. Okay, so here's the story. I was going to do a, and I'm still going to probably do it, I was going to do a short video on the importance of wearing your uniform. I know it sounds kind of boring, but it really is very important. It keeps you safe. It's not what's going to happen this time. So what happened was I called up my friend Bub up in Fulton, Missouri. He owns a towing business called Approved Automotive Towing. And I called him up and said, hey, can we do a, this video on uniform? So we're, I went up there and we were right in the middle of shooting this video when we got this call. I won't spoil it for you and tell you all the details, but I will tell you four things that I gleaned from it that I want to share with you that you can use to think about with your accident recovery, your winter recovery. Now, some of you guys may know all of this stuff and some of you may know more than I do, and that's fine. Write it in the comments below, send me your own videos, help us, help us all out. But the four things that I want to get across to you today are, one, ask the customer how far they are from solid surface. To, to a customer, they may think, well, it's pretty solid where I'm standing right here, and they think that they can get there. So you've got to make sure that you get across to them what you mean by solid surface, where a car would easily drive even going two miles an hour, and they're not gonna sink. So ascertain. How far they are away from solid surface. Number two. Ensure that what you're hooking to on the vehicle is safe so that you do not cause any more damage. Now, sometimes in accident recovery, damages are unavoidable, not due to our neglect, so, but you still have a lot of power, a lot of control over where you hook. And in this instance, um, we talk about that just a little bit, you'll see in the video, but hooking so that you make sure that you do not cause any more damages, that's highly important. Number three, communicate with the driver of the disabled vehicle. So in this video, you can see that Justin, you'll be able to see that Justin does such a good job. Of course, there are two tow truck operators sent to the scene, so it's much easier, but still, if you must stop winching, then you have to do it to communicate which direction the pull is going to go. Communicate before you start pulling, and then in the middle, if you're going to change the pull, have them put the brake on, put it in a park, whatever you're going to do to reset, you may, must communicate with the driver of the disabled vehicle. Number four, plan ahead. So what plan ahead means is when you're doing an accident recovery, it's not too, too far off from playing a game of chess. You have to make sure you set yourself up for the next move, and you don't want to obviously box your truck in where you can't get this person out. So in this, in this short video, you'll see that rather than moving trucks make doing too many moves that, that were unnecessary, they just snatch block to the, to the front end of one truck and pull the rear wheels onto solid surface. So planning ahead is key. So those are the four tips. Hopefully they help you and they'll help you in the future. If you have any comments or questions or if you want to add your own tips for recovery, please do so in the comments below. So without further ado, here's the video. Take it away, bub. Bub. What'd you need? We we have a uh, Silverado about 1,000 feet from solid pavement, Bub, in New Bloomfield. Uh, and we need to do a winch out. Can you come here, please? Sure, I can come there. Okay, who have I got there? You might get your ride along here. 35 to 40 minutes. It's 1,000 feet from solid ground. Sending Justin. We're going to send Gio out there to help him. We'll send him because it sounds like we need a couple of guys out there with 1,000 feet off the road. I'm here with Justin in his truck. What is this truck? 2000 F550. Headed to New Bloomfield to do a winch out on a 2017 Colorado. About a thousand foot from the road. I didn't realize. I thought that might have been the other the other truck. No, he, he, he's the one. He's the one. 
the vehicle was not a thousand feet off the road. This person didn't know exactly how far they were from solid service roads. So it's, it is important, but at least we had the chain, the manpower to take care of it in case it was. I'm an idiot. What's that? I'm an idiot. Ah, <laughs> happens to the best of us. Is that gonna be an easy one? Yeah, it won't be bad. Easy ball. Ended up about 200, maybe 250 off the solid ground. Um, so we quickly changed our plan of tactic of hooking up everything we had, ran the winch line out, a couple of J chains, hooked up, had them leave it in neutral, drug them up, had to reset a couple of times, which no big deal because we were only on a probably a 60 foot of solid ground up top and we don't ever put our trucks in compromising positions if we don't absolutely have to. Um, so. He winched him out. He was good to go. He was happy. Uh, what did you uh, What did you hook on when, on the truck down there? Um, I hooked on to the um, trailer hitch. Trailer hitch. Okay. Yep. I, I didn't want to get in the mud and check it out myself. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was hooked on to the trailer hitch just because uh, it was a little easier than getting down there and getting onto the axle. And I'm always worried about brake lines and stuff on the axles. So we just grabbed the trailer hitch. All right. Relatively easy pull in. Yep. All right. Thank didn't you. even strain the winch line. Won't, won't give you the, uh, I won't, you know, ascertain the, bleh, one, ascertain the, I want to keep saying ascertain, so ascertain how far they are away from solid surface. I used to ascertain correctly that time, that's good, I don't know why I couldn't afford. Thanks for watching the Tool Academy, please stay tuned for more exciting videos down the line. Phone's ringing!